While Dr. Mindy Brashears may have led the USDA through one of the more difficult times in the country's history, it was FFA that changed her life forever. I actually met my husband in high school showing lambs and you know it's one of those things that you it, you know we never did like win a major show or anything but I always tell people well I got a husband and I got a career so you know that's better than a trophy I get. Born in a small town in West Texas this bright young lady went to Texas Tech before receiving her doctorate in food microbiology at Oklahoma State University. I worked with Stan Gilliland there and one of the most renowned microbiologists that it, still today, he had a lot of things commercialized, not only in the U.S., but also internationally. And he really trained me well as a very traditional microbiologist, how to culture bacteria, how to identify them. Um, it's really an art. She would later extend the research she started with Dr. Gilliland using probiotics to reduce E. coli in cattle by as much as 30 percent. Her research here at OSU had really tremendous impacts on, on the beef industry and, and particularly in helping kind of looking at the food feedstuffs as a way of controlling food safety problems downstream, you know, in, in, in the actual product. In 2001, she accepted a faculty position at Texas Tech, eventually becoming director of the International Center for Food Industry Excellence. It was there she was asked to be the Undersecretary for Food Safety at the U.S. Department of Agriculture under the Trump administration. Um, I'm not a politician. <laughs> People would say, how'd you get in this job? I'm like, I'm not really sure. I'm a scientist and I study food safety, but I didn't do anything on the political side. Within a year of confirmation, Dr. Brashears would be faced with a historic crisis. Then March of 2020 kind of exploded <laughs> and we started facing COVID. Dr. Bashir's not only had to keep USDA inspectors operating, but also figure out how to keep food processing plants open as eventually workers began falling ill. Whenever, you know, you wake up every day and you have the responsibility to make sure people eat, that is a huge responsibility. And I, that is not anything I signed up for, but no one signed up for what you were doing during COVID. Through her expertise, Dr. Bashirs was able to help keep the plants operational and maintain the country's food supply. And especially her leadership through COVID-19 and all of the ways she was able to help keep that meat supply chain running. She was the one at the helm in, in, in all of that, that chaos and confusion. And today, we have a meat industry that is working, that, that functions, that's still safe. I owe so much gratitude to Oklahoma State University for just giving me the foundational principles to be a strong scientist, to be a good communicator, to know how to build relationships, to help me to find my first job, and to actually give me the skills that have led me to develop commercialization and innovations and new technologies that are used in the industry. And while OSU holds a special place in her heart, she is still a Red Raider through and through. I'm always cheer for Oklahoma State, except when they play Texas Tech. Celebrating Dr. Mindy Brashears, 2021 Ferguson College of Agriculture Distinguished Alumna.